Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Europa. It's episode number three, and today we go nuts. Let's have a quick look to see what I'm uh, going to do today, guys. Uh, so, previously we built a train station over here uh, because we needed to have a main train station for our city and our uh, entire region. And today, what I want to do here in this little area, I want to build somehow a very small ferry. Well, actually, it's not going to be small. It's going to be a big ferry um, hub, let's call it with few uh, places, a uh, few stops, few uh, areas where the ferries will stop. So in the future, I can, you know, connect more lines of, uh, across the river and maybe not only. Uh, even this canal, I want to enlarge it and make it bigger and go back over here into the main river, I say. Uh, and uh, I'm even thinking to redo a tiny bit this uh, whole area with these houses. These are low residential houses. So I just want to rebuild this. Mainly this episode will be based on, uh, let's say, more infrastructure or transportation um, system for our uh, city over here. Good, so first things first, uh, destroying. That's my uh, motto. <laughs> Always my motto. Um, guys, so let's let's discuss a bit uh, about, uh, you know, Europa in general. Uh, what I'm looking for is to make a really good infrastructure and transportation system for this city because again it is going to be very very big and it is very important to you know think from the beginning how this entire transportation system is going to be and what type of transportations uh, we will have in the city and i'm actually aiming for all type and all sort of transportations uh, it's by sea by air um, uh, underground on the ground and, and so on so we will have everything buses trams metros, uh, planes uh, and ferries as you see, trains, trams and so on. So I want to try to make sure I'm gonna reach or uh, to have every single possible type of transportation. That That's what I'm trying to achieve and of course by that I want uh, to make sure they will work pretty good and then of course the traffic will be also interesting and good uh, in the city. Now over here I wanted first I wanted to have only a few bridges and then everything as it should be but then i said okay let me let me elevate every single road over here first of all it's easier for me to work with them and second of all you know it makes more sense uh, plus we will have a lot a lot of water when i started doing the the ferry area i didn't actually thought you know that it would be that big and you'll see that little by little i'm gonna extend it extend it and extend it and so on maybe i could have kept it like three wharves or, or so and, and that's it but uh, in the end uh, I think I have all around five of them yeah five so this is the one of the bridges that I'm going to have over here uh, then we have that roundabout you, you spotted the roundabout over there which guess what it will turn out into <laughs> an elevated roundabout oh yeah what can it be better than a normal roundabout on the ground an elevated one <laughs> Uh, so cars coming from that big bridge, uh, they will uh, end up uh, into that uh, roundabout and of course um, all other roads that will be connected uh, uh, with it. Uh, so I'm gonna have, we will gonna have over here like three wharves these, uh, on this side and then we, there will be two more but on the other side uh, of the um, area over here. As I said, first I haven't thought, you know, like everything through uh, I, I thought just hey I'm gonna have a very small one like this and then I said you know what let me link this with the other part of the canal over there and maybe things uh, are going to be much much better and you know what it will be much better than that um, good so uh, continuing with this one um, w w the terrain was already elevated in some areas and even though I, I'm gonna, I prefer flat terrain, 
I, I thought for a second maybe why not having a very small but very very small type of uh, hill let's call it over there and have something on top of that hill so that's what I'm, 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 I'm keeping that hill I'm, I just I'm going to modify it a bit and maybe add there like a landmark or this this is what I had in mind first I will add a, a landmark and, and so on here are the other two wharves uh, which are linked to the road that is coming from, let's say, uh, from a tunnel uh, under that small hill over there. It's going to end up pretty interesting and uh, pretty workable, let's call it. Even though, yet at this very moment, I don't have any um, ferries working because I want to extend all the areas, be, be, uh, um, be you know, near this ferry stop and the city one by one little by little uh, to add other ferry stops I really need to add one stop also right next to the main train station this way people can you know come by the river from any anywhere in the city and you know just stop at the train station simply and take the train or come by the train and of course then change with a ferry and go wherever they need to go that's what i had in plan and still have in plan actually so that's uh that's one of the things now over there i had to add some some extra stuff that you you usually find next to you know like uh, ferry stops and so on like a, a small um place where you can rent uh some boats and also a very small restaurant uh, and so on I don't want to make it very, very, you know, touristically, uh, but uh, yes, I wanted to add something like that over there just to attract more tourists and to make it more pleasant for the city. Here, as I said uh, during the, the, the overview, I destroyed all those low residential buildings because I wanted to extend and make them look a bit better and to make all these roads, as you can see here, there are most of them are one uh, way roads uh, to have a nice traffic but also these are custom roads and I'm gonna customize them properly as you will see I will add all sort of uh, lines uh, some of them in uh, in a place they have like a parking they will have on a side they will have a parking uh, uh, area then driving area see uh, then I want to have like a bicycle area uh, lane let's call it and then on, on the empty empty one uh, I'm gonna just add a like a green area in order to add trees or, or something like that uh, these roads are super cool there is a huge huge uh, collection uh, of them but um, they don't work most of some this one at least that i used it's not working properly because those parking lots over there they should have been on diagonal and not uh, just next to the the, the um, um, roadside anyways it is what it is right <laughs> now all this area has to be linked with more than one bridge so i decided to go on the other side of uh, the area to link this big road also uh, with the other uh, district that we have on the other side of the canal now over here We have two more roundabouts one that is also elevated and one that's on the ground this way I can link uh, the bridge with the area out with the ground uh, uh, area too I Haven't mentioned the, I had some issues with my uh, software that is recording uh, the time lapses and for some reason I don't know why the time lapse when, when I recorded the video, instead of being at the normal speed, it was very, very speeded up. I don't know why, why and how and what happened. So when I loaded everything in my Adobe Premiere uh, to edit the videos, I, I was not. It was not necessary for me to speed them up. And even though I tried to lower them up, they, they, they seem to be very chunky and strange at least the first of them now this one is a uh, the, the correct this one is really okay this time lapse and from now on but the previous ones were very very fast and very chunky I don't know again the software that I was recording the videos with uh, had some problems 
Now, on top of this hill, I went with the club. That's what I had in plan. Uh, so I added that club on top of them, on top of the hill. It looks really cool, but it has a bug maybe? Trust me, as soon as I added this one, there was like hundreds and thousands of cars coming over here. I think like this, it, it's like Jesus came on earth again and everyone <laughs> wanted to see him or something. The traffic will die in my city at a point, I will notice it later. So what I had to do uh, was just to turn off this building to stop attracting so many so so many people again very very strange and awkward um i will add some of the areas here i'm gonna mask it with the some rocks because i feel it fits and it will look really good especially when i'm gonna add some trees on top of them and then this whole area for this club or whatever it is i'm gonna just you know mo uh, make it a bit different and i'm gonna make it let's say uh, detail it uh, with some bicycle pathways uh, with some trees and so on so like people can uh, ride their bicycles and you know go to on top of the, the, the hill and relax whatever they need and feel it should be maybe in the future I'm gonna detail let's say a bit more the surrounding area for this uh, um, club with maybe other buildings, landmarks, or maybe some small houses or, or whatnot, because when you will look at on, from the top of uh, the city, let's say, it will look a tiny bit kind of, I don't want to say too empty, but empty. Look at these cars, guys. What? This is madness, complete madness. No one at a point, no one wanted to drive anywhere else on the map except this one and once the car <laughs> reached the top of that hill they disappear wow amazing this thing this kind of thing happened uh, when i added the train station first lots of cars lots of people are taking the buses uh, the cars their own cars they do they have those pocket cars as well and the traffic around the train station is pretty horrible but once i added this building no more problems uh, with the train station because everyone was coming over here. Um, th that was crazy, again. I don't know if it's an issue, if it's a problem, if it's a bug with the building itself, or that's how it is supposed to work. But damn, that's really, really crazy. Good, um, as I said, lots of detailing with the trees. Um, I prefer to have a really cool foliage uh, for the city. Um, and as I also previously said and mentioned, but I want I, I would keep repeating myself in some cases. It's just because maybe there are new people that want to watch these videos from this episode and not from previous ones. Even though I really highly recommend to watch all previous episodes, uh, is that I want to also I don't want to leave the city vanilla because it doesn't look European at all. Too many skyscrapers, and that's not fit for. Um, let's say a proper European city so I'm gonna change those in the future but again once a very small step at a time let's call it I've been adding here lots of uh, pathways for bicycles so people can uh, you know ride their bikes and you know what they will actually ride the bikes and just you know finish with a few details of uh, tree foliage and so on on the other side, over here, um, I wanted to add a, a bus stop. This is not an intercity bus station, which honestly I wanted to add. It's just a bus stop, a, a multiple, like a hub, let's call it, a hub bus stop. So I can add multiple uh, bus uh, stops from all around the city that can stop here so people can come and take the ferry. But I still have this issue that I had before, so it's not fixed, where the intercity buses are not yet coming to the city. Uh, and so far, I have no idea how to fix that. I've tried everything, but it seems, so far at least, nothing worked. Maybe it's a mod that messed up something, which I doubt, because in other, on other maps, I, do have, I don't have this problem. But who knows? I hope I really uh, going to find um, all possible or, or the problem itself because I don't want to 
uh, not have let's say intercity buses i feel like it's pretty cool and important to have you know bring have them bringing people into the city and also at the same time i prefer seeing those uh, intercity buses driving through whole the city and area it's cool i really i really like this uh, kind of things plus it's it's a touch that i i like for any type of city um so far uh you know i still feel that I, i find myself not yet close to anything that is related to um let's say my road marking no my the amount of work i should add or do for uh, the roads and intersections i'm still behind but i will uh, try to fix more of these um but yeah it, it is pretty i'm gonna fix those and just add the little details like that uh, ev- as soon as i can and everywhere i uh, can i want to say a big shout out to all of you guys uh because the bucharest series was released recently released and the feedback i received from you guys it's purely amazing i wasn't expecting having that amazing amazing feedback you guys seem to enjoy it i enjoyed doing the series it's pretty cool and hard to make it because i do also recordings from ground level and try to f- find all sorts of ideas from the ground level like in the city itself but then guys you you made my entire week with that amazing feedback and the other days i was watching also uh if you do remember the series called minus 50 degrees celsius and for some reason after i read all the past feedback in the like from the previous almost two years i was like okay i need to go for another episode at least if not more actually so i've started working and very soon a new episode of minus 550 degrees celsius will be released it's going to be crazy i loved it and I, for sure i'm gonna go for an, another one for the third one so stay tuned for those guys because uh, um, yeah i'm gonna release more Uh, but for the Bucharest series, I don't know when the next episode will be released. Released uh, pro- probably till end of December. Sometimes I don't know, uh, but fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, looking forward to to do one more episode. Uh, guys, uh, we are very close to the end of this uh, episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, you are an amazing community. I can't ask for more, and very supportive. Uh, and thank you. Thank you to all those that are showing all sort of uh, support. Um, but uh, yeah, stay cool, guys. Stay as you are. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. I salute you.